everyone and welcome back to my channel um as you can see in front of me i've got some scraps of paper where i've been um, playing with my jelly plate um i can't remember what i use these for now oh yes i can remember now it's all coming back to me um but i i've got these and i don't want to throw them away and i'm not keeping little bits anymore well i'm trying not to so i thought i would do two things i would attempt to make some borders while i am doing a vr for somebody as well so i'm just going to carry on working ignore the blood when i cut my finger off or something like that okay just we'll just keep going i'm sure red will look lovely on here so the person i want to do a vr for is handmade by abigail abby um, has got a birthday challenge and it's open until the middle of February. She wants you to make three handmade embellishments and send those to her. Um, um, I'm sorry I haven't done it before. Well, I am and I'm not because I don't, when people ask for a VR or, you know, when I say I'll do one, I don't tend to do it straight away because there's a mad rush. Everybody gets their VR out. Everybody, it, you know, the crafting community is kind of saturated with them and then people forget about it. So I always like to kind of hold back a bit, wait till everybody else has done theirs and then do mine. Um, just to kind of remind people that you know perhaps saw all those things and thought yeah I'll do it and then you know put some, put them out of their mind so if you haven't um, if you haven't thought about it now is a good time to think about joining in Abby's challenge um, she's got lovely prizes I think it's open to international and to UK and prizes are a £20 gift voucher or gift token or £20 into your PayPal, something like that. There's lots of things. I shall leave the link to her video um, below in my description box. Um, Abby, if you're watching, your embellishments are winging their way to you. You should get them tomorrow. I, um, oh, I've made you something for your birthday and I hope you don't... Well, if you hate it, it's fine because you could reuse it for something else. But, um, yeah, I'm a bit worried about it. But anyway, I sent you something for your birthday, which you should get. And I packaged it all up and it was really large, so I had to get it picked up. Um, but um, that being said, it has... I've forgotten to put some stuff in it that I'd got specifically for you. So I'll have to send that on. Uh, later date don't worry I've, I've packed your card i've packed the embellishments but i've got some things that i'd i'd as soon as your birthday challenge was announced i thought oh yes i know and i got something for you and i've neglected to put it in and because i'd sealed it all up um and it, the weight of it was sort of on the cusp of two kilos i thought oh, i hadn't better squeeze anything else in so um I will send that on, so sorry about that. And as for the embellishments, I've sent you a few because I didn't know what what sort of thing you would like and I couldn't make my mind up, so I've sent you, I don't know how many it is, five or six random things. So you can uh, do what you will with them. So... Yeah, so if you haven't, if you don't know Abby, you really ought to because she is the most enthusiastic, exciting, excitable uh, crafter and she's so uplifting to watch her videos. She is so upbeat. She never fails to leave me um, without a smile. She's, oh, she's so cool. So as well as being a fabulous crafter and she really is, she's such a great paper crafter, really, really um, beautiful things boxes and um, cards she's she's a whiz so do please go and check out her channel even if you don't want to join the giveaway um, you know check her out because she's she's uplifting is Abby and you know I've already said this year I'm not joining in many challenges but I'm definitely joining in Abby's I'll class Abby as a friend and um you know she's she's a lovely person so if you don't know her pop along give her some crafty love tell her i sent you 
and um, it'd be great if you joined in a ch in a challenge as well. So yeah, that's why my VR is a bit behind everybody else's. I like to refresh everybody's memory. So if you haven't done your embellishments, guys, get embellishing. As you can see, I've cut these into triangle shape things because I could use them both. I'm sure I could probably use them both if I'd done like scalloped, but one would have, yeah, I suppose one would have the sort of inverted scallop bit. Not that that really matters, but I was talking. I can't talk and craft very well, as you all know. But hey, look, I've got 10 fingers and no blood. But uh, yeah, I just thought I would do a quick, quick VR and I'd use these scraps up. My plan is always to use things up as they, as if I'm not going to use them, I'm not going to keep them. It was different when I was making journals and doing a lot of um, sort of junk journals and things, but I'm not doing that so much now. And so I'm just accumulating bits and bits of scrap. I shall use them, don't get me wrong, because I shall enjoy making things and I, want, I know I'll go back to doing journals and things. But for now, I'm just enjoying paint and um, mixed media. It's just just grabbing me at the moment. You've got to go with the flow, guys. If you're not enjoying what you're doing, mix it up a bit and do something else. Um, you know, you've got to do what makes you happy. The same goes for things like videos. I feel bad for some, you know, sometimes because I'm not watching lots of people's videos. A, there's just not enough time in the day to watch everybody's video. And actually, um, it's not very good for the channel if you just if you don't watch it and just leave a comment or you just watch a bit of it and, and leave a comment. So if you're actually wanting to help your friends, it is actually better not to watch the video than to watch a tiny bit because your channel won't get promoted if um, people skip it, skip through the video. I believe that's what I have heard. Um, as for me, I'm not actually fussed about whether or not my channel gets promoted one way or the other. So I don't mind if you skip all mine or don't watch them. It's, um, you know, it sounds a bit selfish, but, you know, this is my journey and, you know, I'm happy sharing it. But, um, you know, I've never, I've never wanted a massive channel with thousands of subscribers i'm afraid that doesn't that doesn't interest me and in fact it would probably give me more stress and then i'd feel i'd have to create things because people expect you to keep up content and things and i don't want to do that i just want to do it when i feel like it which happens to be every day at the moment but you know that could change what should we do with these then i've gone round them all i don't really know why i've done that because Oh, it doesn't really matter, I suppose. Let's have some hearts on these. I want to get my other lesson out, lesson two. I, want to, I haven't even seen it, but I would like to... Uh, do that and then I'll perhaps get into a rhythm of doing one per week then but you know Christmas and my birthday and everything it's sort of threw everything off off balance especially since I've had to spend a couple of days cleaning up the house giving it a good spring clean after everything all our celebrations Right, let's see what colour that is. Mm. These are supposed to be glittery. Not sure that they are. And equally not terribly sure that I like the borders, but I'm just going to use them for now. Because then when I do a pick 10 and it says, you know, add borders, I haven't got to whittle about, oh my goodness, I've got to make a border or think of a border. I'll just grab some of these out of the drawer, the border drawer. 
but they're all pretty similar I really ought to try and make something a little bit different maybe I'll just do a day of border making or something but for now oops never mind happy accidents from the clumsy crafter right that will do for those I might put a bit of white where is my white pen here Is that the one that doesn't work or is that the one that does work? This is not good guys. I think I might have thrown the wrong one away. Oh, there's three of them. That's weird. So this is, this is not trying to waste anything. So I, even though my pen is virtually dead, I won't throw it away because you know, there's a, you know, a tiny amount of ink in there that I might want to use one day so I use the neck the new one and then I've got two pens which are identical and I never know which one is the new one and you can't really tell from the barrel about with these because they've got a kind of uh, sort of a graduated what's that called gradient even Anyway, it's working now. If you have these pens, I don't know about the gold and silver ones, but certainly the white one, and they're probably all very much the same because they're kind of pigment um, pens. These are Signo pens by Uniball. The best way to get them to work, if they didn't work like then, they didn't work, the best way to do it is to scribble on your hand. I know it's, you know, not that pleasant to look at, but I think it's something to do with the oils in the skin, but it does does work better than scribbling on paper anyway and I saw that on Nina Ribena's channel so a little bit of info for you there what should we do with this one I'm going to do my normal but I do need to branch out and do something a bit different I think let's try that one it's oh that's a bit pale isn't it a bit pale and weak we don't want that kind of want oh, what that would look like it will do so I'm thinking I might do another one of those colouring um, colour with me things I know Abby was interested and Ros did one as well so I might might draw something simple that we can have a go at when I get a minute. Um, right, I think I'm going to colour those in now after that. I could have done that to begin with, couldn't I? And these are just Sharpies. These are my um, sort of desk pens, I call them. I've got um, I've got two lots of alcohol markers. I've got my, although, to be honest, my original ones, which are Spectrum Noir, a lot of them are drying out now because they're pretty old. And I bought a cheap set from Amazon when I did my first doodling series because um, I needed pens and... I was finding some were dry and everything, so that's what I what I use, you know, generally. But if I, if I'm just doing something messy on my desk, then I've got a bunch of old sharpies and felt pens, some are um, highlighters, but um, what can we do with this? But I just keep them on my desk for things like this when you just need a pen quickly, especially the uh, black ones. Oh, 
Oh, I know what we could do with these. As you can see, I'm not worrying too much about this at all. This is just... I think we worry too much about whether or not things are even or... You know, it doesn't matter. And also, if you saw my video on um, Betsy Doodle's card... You know, nobody notices. Only you notice imperfection. Other people don't. And who's to say what imperfection is anyway? You know? Right, I'm just going to put some Nouveau drops in the middle of these. In white, just to... Give a little bit of contrast. I like that. Right, they will need to dry, obviously. And I've got another pair to do. Let's do those really quickly. Let's just move those out of the way before I stick something in them. Uh, right, what can we do with this? Do you know what? Let's just be really random. Let's grab a bit of paper. Under there. Right, I'm just going to draw some lines and things, preferably with pens at work. same with this one even though this pen is literally on its last legs come on just a couple more please that's all we need I'm going to throw this pen in the bin, I think, because otherwise I'm going to have this problem next time as well, aren't I? Right, it's gone, folks. Look, lid's on. It's in the bin. Never to bother us again. Let's try something with these. Uh, more lines or shall I do circles? What do you think? go not think about it too much like it looks like it needs more sharpies now I mean they are pretty old and they don't last forever anyway And I might put some dots in those. What colour? I've got a kind of weird purple thing. Somewhere here. What's that? It's got a funny name as well, like vintage. Oh no, it says purple basil on it. Vintage drops. Well, there you go. Let's see what purple basil looks like. I would say neither purpley nor basily, but what do I know? It must be difficult if you bring out a new range and 
You've got to pick colours that people haven't used before, but still sound like the colour that they are. Oops. Not sure how to do things that are not circular. I perhaps should have drawn more circles rather than these bits of circle. Not bad, but I think we need some white, either dots or scribbles or... Right, watch me put my arm in all of this because that is exactly what I will do. Or my knuckle. There we go. That one, oopsie. That one looks quite plain now. Never mind. stop right stopping there there we go right hopefully that wasn't too long i don't look probably about 40 minutes knowing me there's those two with the hearts there's those two with the i don't know lines and then these sort of floral things up here but they will do for borders Thank you for watching. Please check out Abby's channel. Um, join in her giveaway. Just need to send three embellishments. And um, that's it. And I'm off to do something else. We'll see. Be back soon. Bye for now. Have a good day. Stay safe. Bye for now.